All right, all right. Time for another episode of Jay's Guy Raj. All right, partner. Keep on rolling, baby. I don't own the rights to this music. a little bit about my 555 so I bought it off of Craigslist not Craigslist uh, Facebook marketplace and uh, basically uh, the whole short block was there um, he didn't have the heads cam was there um, anyway finally got it in the machine shop and you got to looking at it and uh, just looking to see if I'm actually recording and uh, anyway, he said it has the wrong rods and pistons in it. So it looks like they're, uh, you know, 454, uh, you know, for a 454, 496 rods. Um, not sure what the pistons are. Anyway, we talked a little bit. So I ordered, I went to uh, uh, Ohio Crankshaft and, you know, they do a whole motors. So I got their rods that are good for a thousand horsepower. And I got some pistons, and uh, yeah, so I'm looking to make a thousand horsepower. So Chris Straub, 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 Straub on Chevy High Performance on the uh, on the uh, YouTube page. I'm sorry. So it's Chris Straub. Sounds like Throb, and he's on Chevy High Performance on Facebook, and Straub Technologies on YouTube. Check him out. They got a lot of good videos tech videos and such. Chris Straub on Chevy High Performance on the Facebook page. He's been making, putting together engines with a lot less uh, compression than what I have. The ones I have, the, the pistons I ordered are, in, 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 I can't talk, are the pistons I ordered are in between 14 to 1 to 14 and a half to 1 compression, depending on the uh, head gasket and uh, you know the dome uh, you know the, uh, the the head so on and so forth so anyway I should be able to make a good a bit over a thousand horsepower I'm thinking if he can get these you know 10 to 1 11 to 1 engines and make a thousand horsepower really close to it why can I when 14 to 1 14 and a half to 1 compression so that's what I'm looking for um, I ordered them to them Ohio crankshaft and it's really hard to get pistons and rods nowadays so I, I'm just glad that they had them so I ordered them Wednesday I don't know when they'll get to the shop probably sometime next week and then uh, hopefully soon they'll be putting it together um, he said he looked at the the bearings that were in there because the crankshaft was still in there but the crank and rods were out of it he said the, the, the uh, bearings looked perfect it, mm, awesome the whole block looked really good so so hopefully it'll go together pretty quick. And of course I got my heads a few months ago, probably six months ago at a swap meet. Um, there are CMF heads, uh, no, BMF and CMF, I think it's like a combination of both names. Uh, anyway, so hopefully it um, won't take too much longer to get it together, we'll see. I'm gonna have it dynoed and first of all, I'm gonna have the heads flowed to see what they flow. Cause I'm not going to use a cam that came with it, I don't think. I'm going to get a cam that works with the heads, what they flow. It's the best thing to do. You know, you, know, you can just throw a cam at it. Like, well, you know what? It's got this one. It's compression. These heads. This is throw cam. It'll work, right? But I want something that works best with what the flow is on the heads. So we'll see what they are. Um, other than that, um, I got the 74 Mordor at my friend's shop, Kobe and, uh, and Olympia. Uh, what is his shop name? Shoot, uh, special uh, s specialties. I'll have to look it up later. I'll, I'll what I'm gonna do is I'll 
put on the on the screen here during the video something spe automotive specialties there you go so it's down there um, I'm having them uh, replace a few things uh, air conditioning system is gonna get all redone new parts you know, condenser and all that because it just it's not working so I'm gonna get it working so I want to get it to where someone can buy this car and just drive it to wherever they need to wherever they want um, the build sheet, as you can see in the other videos, if you haven't looked yet, go to the other videos. You can see where there's a part of a, a build sheet under the un, uh, in between the tank and the body. And then there was another build sheet that I got in a folder um, with a bunch of receipts. And I was checking those out a couple days ago. Receipts from the, the guy's grandma when she owned it from way back when. And she didn't put a whole lot of miles on it. So it's got uh, supposedly about 76,000 original miles. But um, it's close to that right now. The speedometer doesn't work. I'm going to have that checked out. Um, it's somewhere in the gauge cluster. Uh, so, you know, if it has more, it's not a whole lot more. She just didn't drive it a whole lot. As you can see the, the, with the receipts, I might take pictures of those and make a video of it. So, you can look at the receipts. And, you know, every year, like a year and a half, she drove it just like, I don't know, I forget how many thousand miles, less than 10,000 miles. So, yeah, anyway, it's the original, you know, low-mile car. So, looking forward to getting it all done. And then uh, we'll go from there. Um, so this thing here, my truck, hopefully pretty soon it's going to get out of here. I'm going to wash it up, send it to a friend's house. And over a few months when he has time, he's going to cut the floor out. He's going to take the uh, the tanks out. We're going to lower the floor with a with a hump saw for the tank. And we're going to drop that seat so I can get in and out of the seat a lot better. And we're going to put a tank back there in the back somewhere. Um, I can get like a, I think it's a 90-something a suburban tank and they're like 30 gallon tank so with this uh with the prices of gas nowadays i hope i don't you know fill it up <laughs> 30 gallons times uh you know five six dollars a gallon that's a lot of money not looking forward to that anyway and then what we're going to do to this also the uh tire uh fender wells i guess you call them we're gonna we're gonna cut the inside out inside of it out and extend it and uh, I'm gonna make it look good I'm not gonna scab it in there I've seen I've seen videos or even you know in person where they've done that and this looks terrible but I'm gonna have it extend it so I can put a bigger tire in there I thought about taking the springs and putting them inboard but you know even the, the springs where they are you just open that wheel tub up that's what it is a wheel tub open that up and you can go clear the frame I think you, no, you can clear the clear the uh, um, springs. Anyway, you can go in there quite a ways. You can get a huge tire on there, and that's what I'm going to do. I just like the look. Um, you know, you can get a small tire car to go really, really fast. You know, there's cars that are you know 26 tall tires, and eight inch, eight and a half inch wide, and they're you know 1500 horsepower, and they're hooking and booking, but they got a lot of money spent in suspension. But I'm not going to make this go that fast. I'm just going to have a cruiser. It might be kind of fast at some point. Um, it was before. The quickest I had this thing was uh, 1215. And um, that was the big lock that was in the, that's in the Nova. But before I rebuilt it and put it in the Nova, um, and it was having some kind of an issue. Um, every pass that I made, it gets about half track, about eighth mile, and then just nose over. I had to feather the throttle. Uh, in the pass that it did a 1215, um, towards the top end, it was the best pass it made. And... Uh, it started nosing over a little bit. It wasn't a full blah, pass. It just wasn't. So it would have been an 11-second truck. You know, going if you look at the 60 foot and all that up to a, up to eighth mile, you can see normally it would have been an eighth mile. You can you can look at um, charts where if you do this fast and this this uh, ET and the eighth, normally it's you know this fast in the and the um, quarter. You know, normally. So. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's going on. Hopefully, it'll be done in a couple, six months or so. But I got to get it out of here because when Kobe gets done with the, the Mordor, the 74 Mordor, it's got to come here. I'm going to sell it. And then I got Tangerine. Tangerine is going to be here Wednesday. So looking forward to that. I got to find a place for that. There's, I got to move some stuff around in here. I, I hate to get rid of stuff. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a hoarder. <clears throat> anyway, so I got to move some stuff around. I got some... Uh, some uh, my brakes drum brakes from the front of that the black nova the 72 i got to get rid of them they're free 
whoever wants them. I already put them up on uh, my Nova page, and one guy said, I, I want them, but he lives clear down in Oregon, and I'm in Port Angeles, so, you know, he's not going to drive clear up here unless he just wants to go to Hurricane Ridge, which is right up here, and this would be a beautiful day to do it. If you guys get a chance to go to Hurricane Ridge in Port Angeles, do it on a beautiful day. You won't regret it. It's really nice. Anyway, that's about all right now. Uh, I will see you guys before too long. I'll post this tonight. Shouldn't take too long. It's not a half hour video like my last one. That one took like half a day, like 12 hours just to post. <laughs> so if you haven't already, subscribe, click like, you know, I want to get views. I'm not going to get like a, you know, where I have like 100,000 views. That'd be cool. That ain't going to happen. But you know, click like, comment. Let me know how I'm doing. See you guys later. Jay's Guy Raj.